All right, folks, now we're gonna do the exterior walk around on this 1982 Chevy Corvette C3 with 37,000 miles last year of the C3 body style in a beautiful shade of silver with a dark claret at the bottom. And from what I can tell, this is an all original paint car. Very nice, held up very well. As I said in one of the other videos, the exterior walk around video, typically the front bumper cover is a little different shade than the rest of the car. This one's pretty stinking close. The car has a couple of flaws that we talked about and I, and I talked about in the, uh, in the video. A chip or a scratcher that was touched up, a couple of stone chips here touched up. Another one there, real minimal stuff. Stuff that you'd expect to see on a car this age has been driven a little bit. Period, period correct Eagle GT tires all the way around, Goodyear Eagle GTs. The paint does look really nice on this car. It's been paint corrected. Down the sides look good. They have a little bit of, uh, you're gonna get a little bit of, of uh, stone chips here where this flare is at. We touched that up the best we could. It looks good, but there are some, some touched, up, touched up stone chips. So we'll just full disclosure. But if you look at the, I mean, look at the reflection. I mean, the paint is really, really, really nice on this car. And I missed a scratch. I didn't disclose this. I don't know how the hell I missed it, but I had the car up on the lift today. So if you guys watched the undercarriage video, this was eye level, so it came to my attention, but there's a scratch right here and you can barely see it. It's there. I mean, down here, like standing right here, I, it's, it's completely invisible. If you get down and look close, it's in between. It's the length of my fingers right there, that little spot there. Again, really minimal stuff. I bet you, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't have caught it, but that's not the way I do business. You guys know I'm very, very transparent. If I see something or notice something, I'm gonna tell you about it. Could I miss some stuff here and there? Yeah, I could, but again, I missed that scratch until today and then I caught it today after owning the car for a week or two. One little small blemish here, really minimal. Back bumper cover, same thing. Little, you can see a little discoloration across the top, which is very, very, very common, but this actually looks better than most. Back end of the car looks great. It's a no-hit body. Wheels are in fantastic condition. And again, oh, you have another touch up here on the, on the very side, just right there. And because it was an original paint car, I left it. A good body guy can tape from here down and tape from there back and, and straighten that out. It's not a big deal. Look how nice that body looks, how nice that paint looks. The wheels are in fantastic condition, as I said. The little bit of bright work that this car does have is in good shape. All the molding around the glass looks good. The T-tops look good. Across the top of the hood looks good. That decal had a couple chips that we touched up right there. Again, it, the color really blended well. So you probably can't see it, but right in here somewhere, there was a the decal had, had, had been scuffed or scratched. We just touched it up with a dark claret and it matched beautifully. So there it is, 82. Look at the body lines, look at the paint. I mean, that thing is gorgeous. And for it to be driven 37,000 miles, I mean, you can tell it's been really well kept. Air's nice and cold. Everything in the car works. I may have said the power mirror switch works, but only works left and right, not up and down. I'm gonna get a mirror switch. So if the auction says the power mirror switch doesn't work right, scratch that. I'm gonna get one for you guys before the auction's over. And normally these front ends get beat up. This one is not. Normally every, literally every C3 bed I've had has had the nose chipped and touched up. Look at this one. It's pretty much untouched. Looks great. So there it is, bid with confidence. I disclosed everything. Tons of pictures, lots of videos. So stay tuned for a driving video. If weather permits, we'll probably knock that out tomorrow. Have a good day, guys. And good luck bidding. You will see this on YouTube. Car is currently live on Bring a Trailer online auction. High bidder is going to win. I sell 98% of my cars. I mean, I, I bring them to, you know, win, lose, or draw. Is that right? No. Yes. Win, lose, or draw. I, I bring them and I sell them. And whoever bids on this car, is, is whoever the high bidder is, is nearly a 98% uh, chance it will be sold. So thanks, guys. Have a great day and ask any questions. Thanks.